the battery replacement for the Dyson I did a few weeks ago. Here it is. I'm going to see if I can get inside it. Yeah, just for the laugh. Hi guys, Retro Tech Ralph here with another, well, yeah, it's just a silly video. Right, um, we might want to see whether or not to get inside these or not, but I've been watching lots of videos on how to get into them, and it's, it seems tricky. All I need to do is take off, there's a screw here, and then the fun begins. Because these are either glued together, they snap fit together, they're God knows what together. Right there. So I'm going to pause the video now, and I'm going to try and get record this without any waffle. Let's try and get inside this. Right, so... How difficult was that? Okay, so inside we have um, what's like six cells, and I don't know which one of these has failed to make this battery. This is an official Dyson one, by the way. Um, I don't know which one's actually failed to give me the problem. Now, the spring and the button came out there for that, so I'm going to put this back into the little protective bit anyway, just to get out of the way, just to hide it out of the way. Right, there's a little bit of plastic that was bent, yes, but I've seen people waste five, ten minutes on these, try and get inside these. Wow. It's either really not that difficult or it's the perfect conditions in here. Or, I mean, to be honest, I'd probably, it's like there's a few tabs, six tabs on there which kind of clip into here. So it's like you just need to get the screwdriver in the right place at the right time. So, yeah, easy enough to do. I'm guessing that all four of the connectors on here, let me get you in a little bit. Yeah, they're all hard soldered straight into the board, they're not pressed in or anything. The battery on these possibly might be live, I'm not quite sure. But contacts across are, yeah. These are an official Dyson product. So technically, yeah, maybe, I means there's an interesting little, tiny little micro switch on here. So that's for that button anyway, when that goes back in place, then yeah, if I put this back together properly. If I don't, then yeah, this is just a look inside you see. So if your battery goes, like the, the video that I did do, then potentially you should be able to get inside this and do what you want with, well, not fully do what you want, but um, there's little clips on here as well, holding the batteries in the pack. This isn't gonna be easy to do. Or is it? Yeah, okay. Well, they're attached onto there, so hopefully these three tabs can come up without any problem. Be careful not to short this thing out. Right, so that's up. And looks like if we could take it out fully, which we can with these two little tabs here, then so be it. But the metal parts are already hard soldered on, spot welded onto there anyway. So it will be tricky to replace the batteries anyway on this. I mean, I've got one cable come off of there already. So that's when it goes onto there for the actual charging socket. I mean, yeah, they, they've got a full circuit on top of here for protection or whatever else. 
So no, that's nice enough to have. I mean, it's actually covered in a silicon. Yeah, it's very jelly-like silicon. Or as people would also call it, jelly. So yeah, there's another screw holding this plate on here as well. It's like it just holds these little wings on for some reason. Probably just to hold in place so it doesn't short or actually no it's the batteries yeah it's the batteries it's, it's the LEDs which are down here to show either side for the indicators okay that's quite clever all right so that doesn't do anything at all the um to untick off the other batteries will be unsolder 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 to take this board off which I'm not going to do and unsolder that one and that one right so there's seven points to unsolder and to take out yeah you you could potentially you'd have to unsolder all three of these to start with take out the batteries on the board but this is com this is just me spitballing a little bit of a of a thing so don't take any of this as gospel so yeah, I mean, these pa these batteries on here are replaceable. You have to check between either side to check whether or not there's this full amps or whatever on there. But you'd need to break off all of these welds anyway, so that potentially makes it completely dead. And like any of the battery, one positive, one negative. Yeah, you, could, you could take probably take that battery out of there. Actually, I couldn't because it's attached in there. Yeah, it's just six batteries. Okay, or six cells. So yeah, Dyson use specific types of cells, which is which is nice for them. That's what they do. But if I could take those out, I could probably use. Well, now I'm going to use my other product anyway. I'd rather get brand new ones instead of second hand. But to get these out, yeah, actually that's, that's almost loose anyway. I probably have to break that on that side to get one of the cells out. Okay, and this is not going back together, I guarantee you. Oh, I might have shorted everything out if it didn't. Under there, take that off. Yes, it is kind of slapdash and just plod along with it, but try and take the battery out. Because I can. And this is dead now anyway, so I don't even give a monkey's about this being as it is. So we should be able to get that battery out there now. Hopefully without cutting all of our fingers off. So it looks like they use three cells, sorry, six cells. INR 20700A. If you want to go inside one of these, I have damaged the top of there anyway, so this will be disposed of. It's only the outer casing, so it sh yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. That's sharp. So yeah, it, it's pretty easy to get into one of these apparently. Even though, like I said, there's plenty of videos out there which make it look difficult. So the only thing that I can actually salvage on here would probably be a, a tiny little micro switch, which I don't think I could use for anything. No. I mean, maybe it's a nice little clicky thing. Rest of it, no. I'm not unsoldering the LEDs on there. Chip's useless to me. I'm not going to use anything like this for any projects. Anyway, so... Yeah, it's completely dead. I was really having a hard time in the vacuum cleaner that I got anyway. So yeah, quick little strip down. Short little video. Nothing major, nothing over the top. Just a, a faff around. So that's how to get into a DC... Sorry, not DC. It's a... Is it a V08 battery? I think it's a V08, isn't it? I don't know why I call it a DC. I think it's a V, yeah. But yeah, it's a six cell. That just tells you on there anyway what you need to get. So it, it, it's fine for what it is, but yes, it's just a little tear down video. So thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, follow me on social media, and I'll see you in another video. Unless you want to do donate as a, as a patron, and I'll see you in another video. And by the way, links are below. So bye for now.